Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to do the near future readings. So this is for the sign of Taurus. So I'm not putting like a week time frame or anything like that. It's just going to be whenever spirit wants to bless you with this energy. And so near future, this is energy that can happen for you in the near future. I already started this reading, so I'm not going to shuffle. I messed up when I was talking, but you did pull at the bottom of the deck, the will of fortune. So this is a blessed, abundant time for you. When this near future happens for you, you can expect something really good, like great karma to come in for you, some kind of blessing. It's like the wheel spins on you and spirit has your back in so many different ways. It's like anything you touch turns to gold kind of energy. Just very fortunate events. Okay. All right. Next card we got is the Ace of Magic. Holy smokes. So you're starting off really, really good for near future. You got the Ace of Wands and you got Wheel of Fortune. So this is being very magical. And this is also like spirit. These are pretty much telling you the same thing. This is like spirit helping you in your new beginning. So very fortunate events and a lot of powerful magic you could be using or spirit is helping you. You know, maybe they're bringing the magic into your life. It looks that way with the will of fortune, but a new beginning for you and a blessed one. All right. Next card, the devil. <laughs> Wow. So you could be dealing with devilish energies, a devilish person or people, you know, some kind of situation where, you know, it's toxic energy coming at you and you have to like use your magic, you know, to keep it away from you to the best of your ability. But, you know, it looks like everything's going to turn out right for you because you did get the will of fortune. But this devil energy, just be mindful. You, it could be around you, whether it's family, whether it's friends, co-workers, that sort of thing. Maybe, you know, it's doing something to an extreme, but I got a feeling this devilish energy around you. People doing things they have no business doing. A lot of Tauruses have been dealing with this kind of energy for quite some time. So, you know, I just feel like you'll be okay, but just be mindful. You got that kind of energy to deal with, but you also got blessings upon blessings, okay? Next card, yep. So the King of Swords, this one is a nasty, devious person. He likes to keep fighting even when he's won the fight, or indeed, this could be you, victory. You know, you had enough and you're not taking it no more. A lot of times that could be too, because, you know, fives are change and they're also truth, the swords. But this also could be a nasty, devious person, which is matching this devil. So you could be up for a, a battle with this devil. Okay, next card. New beginning. So this is, you know, working on a team. Maybe a new job, maybe coming together in a new relationship, but this is a blessed, blessed card of new beginnings and starting something with a team. And it looks like, you know, with these two cards right here, you can't lose in new beginnings, building with a team, what have you. <laughs> this is wonderful. Okay. Next card, Taurus. Ten of Swords. So, yeah, maybe this is the end. For this devilish situation with this shyster, nasty, devious person, they, they're causing you this uh, ten of swords where you just feel like you can't get up. And it could be a couple people. It doesn't have to just be one because you did get the devil with the two people chained up at the bottom. And it could be, you know, multiple people causing this for you. But this is a wrap. This is over. This is the ten of swords. So no more swords can be put into you. It's looking like this is going to be the end of a cycle. Next card, Taurus, the Empress. So this is either you or someone you'll be around. This is a mother, really loving, really, really loving. She's a super woman, very nurturing. She could be, you know, she's tied to the planet of Venus. So if this is you, you're very, very loving and you deserve so much more than that shyster and that devil. So you are shown as very abundant and very loving right here. And she's the highest of the tarot. So when a man say they want 
a real woman, they're talking about this empress. They want the empress. If you want a real woman, that's her. So you just can't beat this kind of energy. It's super abundant. And if this is you, I'm so happy for you. We also got earth energy with the king of Pentacles. So you could be meeting the king of Pentacles with this empress. Maybe you guys are going to be friends. You're hooking up with friends. Or maybe you guys are going on a date. Or maybe this is a brother or sister, father, something to that measurement but all in all beautiful for making money and opportunities she's the most abundant and this one he knows his worth and he's pretty well with money as well so we're going to keep it moving nice near future energies we got the queen of wands so you could be dealing with the queen of wands hanging out with a queen of wands whether this is a friend giving you advice she's the life of the party you'll have a really good time with her or this is you very inventive very magical very creative all in all you can't lose with a queen of wands okay next card cards are falling out we got the King of Swords, so you might be using your King of Swords energy to go against this shyster, you know, the nasty, devious person, or indeed, this is you, you just had enough, but it looks like you're the king. So either you're cutting this out your life, which I think that's the case, and you're cutting this devil out your life, these two devilish people that's causing problems for you, or it could just be one person, because it's showing this one. But all in all, you got the power to cut that out of your life and this devil too. And this is showing it's coming to an end. Next card, Taurus. Four of Cups. So some kind of gift, spiritual gifts could be coming in. You could be dealing with some stress and some things that got you closed off. But remember, you just want to give, receive, and open up because spirit has your back and they want to bring in something beautiful for you. It's showing it here with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Ace of Wands. So you got blessings coming in soon, near future. Next card, Knight of Swords. So someone could be coming in with an opportunity, very fast moving, whether you're going towards this opportunity or that opportunity is coming towards you. Sometimes this could be aggressive energy coming at you and you do have the devil and you have the Five of Swords. So that's why it's awesome to see this King of Swords. Because the King of Swords ain't playing. <laughs> King of Swords will chop this one right out their life. And this one too. Neither one of these stand a chance against the King of Swords. Okay. Next card, Taurus. The High Priestess. So, yep, you'll be using your spiritual spidey sense in this next, you know, however long this is, near future. You're very powerful. You can see right through people. And this energy is popping right through you. Go right ahead. Next card. The world. <laughs> what a way to end this uh, reading for you, Taurus. You got the whole wide world. You completed up a whole new cycle. I mean, you're completing the cycle to start a whole new one. And this is the world. Spirit wrapping the spiritual world around you to show you how loved you are. Man, to get the world and the Wheel of Fortune, that's saying something. You got the ace for a whole new beginning. That's spirit's magic all the way around you. You got gifts coming from spirit. Shows how magical you are and how connected and protected you are. This could be a friend if it's not you. And you could be meeting. I feel like you could be this empress or, or the king, because this is an earth sign, and you could be meeting the empress, and the genders could be flipped, but all in all, you know, this could be friendship, this could be love, you'll know, because this is near future coming in for you. So all in all, a blessed, beautiful time, new beginnings, you could be working on the team to build something new and fresh for yourself, okay? So all in all, I hope this helps someone out there, Tauruses, for a fresh new beginning, you know, or new energy, karma, greatness about to happen for you. It is about to be new energy because you're closing up this cycle and this is a new beginning, okay? And you got the will of fortune. So blessings to you, Tauruses. Thank y'all so much for your time and your attention. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all.